So yesterday, my van life friends, Andrew and Sarah, posted an amazing two-part video on this freaking massive mural project that they just finished up. And I wanted to take a couple minutes to react to it because I've never seen anything like this before on YouTube with someone documenting the entire creative process from start to finish with all the nitty gritty details in between. And you can watch the video if you want, I put a link down below, but we're just gonna talk about the five things that I took away from it that I thought were really cool. And the first thing was just like the scale in these two videos because when it starts out, you're just kind of getting the sense of like them coming up with concepts and writing things and taking notes and talking to people, all these like little itty bitty inspirations. And then like as the video goes on, as you see them painting the wall, it just becomes like all of their ideas become this massive wall. And it's just incredible. And I think a lot of creative people never really get to share their process, you know, because like as a filmmaker, everything I do is kind of like in my head. It's like in the camera. But when you're a mural painter, and this is something that I never thought about, even though I've driven by murals all the time, it's like people are watching your entire process. So there's pressure and, but it's also cool, you know? Like it's kind of cathartic to watch them get to interact with people and have people see, almost like see their brain, you know, projected up onto the wall and how they think and how they work. So that was the first thing. The second thing was distractions and it was just crazy. They had been telling me about how many distractions there were when they were working on this project because it was right near a main thoroughfare um, going through a town in the Midwest. And so there were like trucks and all this stuff, but like watching the video and just hearing the thunder <laughs> of these farm trucks and tractor trailers going by. And then there was like a jackhammer at one point. And it just made me appreciate like the silence that I have working in um, a house, you know, in like a suburb, because sometimes I'll complain about like the lawnmowers um, or the leaf blowers or stuff like that. Um, or I don't know, my mom working out in the kitchen. Um, and it just like put that to shame, you know? So like seeing them be able to work through that as sensitive people too, which a lot of creative people are, was really inspiring. And yeah, like I have so much more respect for them now, already more or more respect than I did before. And I have a lot of respect for probably a lot of mural painters um, having to work in conditions like that, you know? It's, it could also be like the sun, the heat, you know, just all of this stuff. It's, it's totally not the same thing as working as a bedroom. And um, number three was like community because something that Andrew and Sarah do, which is really unique and something that I don't see a lot of artists doing is that they engage completely like with the community that they are working with. So when they come somewhere to paint a mural, they'll, they'll go out and talk to people, they'll take pictures of things, they'll write notes about everything that's going on in that community. And then they take all of that together and the project ended up being called The Quilted Truck. Um, and I'm not gonna go into detail cause I don't wanna like ruin the video for you, but it was a really cool concept to see how they took all of these interactions and then like literally wove them together into this like one metaphor, this like visual representation of a place. So that was really cool to see. I think it was just also inspiring to see like the interpersonal part of creativity, you know, like just getting out and talking to random people and finding connections. And that's sort of like the essence of creativity. And I think a lot of times artists forget that because we spend a lot of time drawing or writing in our little hidey holes. And um, we don't realize that creativity oftentimes comes from just talking to people and having like random fun conversations, which give you ideas that you're never gonna find when you're just sitting in front of a screen in your bedroom. So number four was Grind. And it was really incredible watching this project because like any creative person or people, they go through so many swings um, up and down with the stress of like the deadline and all of this stuff. And I think just like watching it happen on the wall and seeing all of the problems that they had to deal with, like logistical problems and just like emotional problems of like not having enough like peace and quiet, you know, because of the road and stuff like that. And then how they get over that was really cool. And then the final thing that I took away from the video was just like how nonlinear Andrew and Sarah are. Like this is the reason why their channel is one of my favorite channels on YouTube right now. And one of the channels where I just enjoy every one of the videos because it's sort of like 
a box of chocolates. You're like, from moment to moment, you never know what you're gonna get from an Andrew and Sarah video. And even in um, a series like this, where it was a clear process of like, you know, starting the project and then, you know, finishing the wall, like, you know, it had an obvious progression, but in between, it's like, you never know what's gonna happen. And I feel like that's something that is missing from a lot of YouTube videos because so many videos now are scripted or you can tell that the creators have thought about things ahead of time, even though they're trying to make them seem like they were spontaneous, you know? But whenever I watch an Andrew and Sarah video, it's just like every moment is a little delight um, because you can tell that they haven't thought a lot of the things through and they're just like experiencing things in the moment. And sometimes you get so many cool shots in their videos, just like these little like angles where there's something interesting going on here and here, something happens in the background and you're not gonna get that from a scripted video. And they're one of the few channels where I just feel like sitting down and watching the entire video and I don't get distracted thinking about like, oh, like, should I watch this? Should I watch this? And like clicking away after a few minutes. So I don't know, it's kind of like YouTube therapy, you know, watching their videos, just like chilling out for a solid half an hour or however long their videos are and not even watching it. A lot of times I'll watch videos on 2x speed. I've said this before and their channel is one of the few channels that I'll just watch at regular speed and just like enjoy the moment. I really appreciate them for making this video and as a filmmaker, or well, both videos really, as a filmmaker, like I know how much work goes into them to making videos like this. I know how much work goes into like a five minute video and it's a lot. And so to see two like half an hour videos put into this like mini documentary about a place and time and creativity and all the struggles, and all of the unique little moments was super cool. So yeah, if you wanna check out the video, I'd highly recommend it. And I'm hoping at some point we can collaborate to do maybe like a barefoot mural or something. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you for watching Andrew and Sarah's videos if you decided to do that. And so I'll catch you next time. Peace.